Welcome to Thomas More Prep Marion. We are a uh, private Catholic uh, nine, a 7 through 12 school located in western Kansas with a tremendous history. Uh, we're out in front of the building right now and I use the, you know, two of the very strong visuals in front of our building to talk a lot about our school. And the first one, and uh, standing right here in front, is a statue of St. Joseph. And you might notice that even on the building itself, it says St. Joseph's College above the doors. And uh, obviously the school is not St. Joseph's College anymore, but the biggest piece of the history, the reason that this school is here and the reason it was built is that back in the, uh, the early 1920s, the Bishop of Concordia at the time envisioned a college on the, on the plains of Kansas where young men could be educated in both a spiritual life as well as uh, preparing themselves for a trade. And so this was originally envisioned as a junior college and named after St. Joseph the Worker. And so here in front of the building, we have this, uh, this visual of St. Joseph, and uh, it says, St. Joseph, our patron. Uh, he does stand front and center in front of the building, even though the school is named Thomas More Prep Marion, because he is such a, a strong patron and visual for the building and a piece of the history of the school, um, that he will always remain right here in this spot. And we don't anticipate uh, St. Joseph ever moving from this spot. Uh, the school later on became St. Joseph's College and Military Academy and uh, added grades uh, 9 through 12 in addition to the junior college. And so for several years, you could actually get two degrees from, uh, from St. Joseph's. You could get a, a high school diploma and a junior college degree. So we do have some people listed in our alumni database that have two separate graduation years that, uh, that receive um, two separate degrees from this institution. Uh, so a long history with St. Joseph, and we're proud to always have St. Joseph's College above the door and St. Joseph standing uh, vigil in front of our building because uh, it is such a strong piece of our history. So now we'll move over. One of the other uh, strong visual, and this is a fairly recent addition, we had a donor that realized that we now we're called Thomas More Prep Marion, but we didn't have uh, anything visual depicting Thomas More in front of our building. And they wanted to provide us with some visual of the, uh, the importance and the reason that Thomas More is chosen. And there's, there's a whole lot that goes into it, but um, the bottom line is Thomas More, and it says uh, right here on the plaque, was a man of deep faith, impassioned learning, strong conviction, and family devotion. And at the time when the military school was, uh, uh, was changed from St. Joseph's Military Academy back in 1971 to Thomas More Prep, that's what the year that the school changed from the military school to Thomas More Prep, uh, it was at that time that they had to choose a new name for the school. And uh, the, the folks that were involved in that decision and that transition looked to the example set by Thomas More as a man of faith, learning, and conviction. And uh, he was just very passionate, very devoted to his family, to his faith, and to a lifelong learning. And that's something that we uh, really espouse always to uh, promote in our students constantly. You'll notice some very strong visuals right here on uh, Thomas More himself. The, uh, the, the chain of his office. Uh, you'll notice on, on almost every representation of Thomas More, you'll see what's called the, um, the SS chain and, and the Tudor rose. The, the rose, the medallion that hangs around his neck, is not necessarily a uh, symbol of his office itself uh, as the Chancellor, Lord Chancellor of, of England, but a family devotion to the House of Tudor. It's, it's a rose, and the, the House of Tudor had the symbol of the rose. And so it symbolized his devotion to King Henry VIII. Uh, now, if you know much about the story of Thomas More, he eventually took a stand against Henry VIII and, uh, and, and um, uh, was threatened with his life. He was imprisoned in the Tower of London uh, for not supporting King Henry VIII's break with the Catholic Church. And so in this representation of Thomas More, you will see that the SS chain, that chain of family devotion to the House of Tudor, is kind of tucked in behind, and he holds the cross prominently in front of that. So it's a, it's a strong representation showing how he 
had to make a very difficult decision in his life, and he actually chose uh, his faith over the what would have been a very much more convenient decision, which would have been to support uh, King Henry VIII. We we talk a lot about why it was important for Henry for Henry VIII to get Thomas More to be supportive of him in his role. And uh, if if you can envision, Thomas More was a very prominent man in the government. He was the Lord Chancellor of all of England, and so if he stood against the king. It, w it was really a bad sign. It was uh, he had so many people that that respected him. It was like he had like a million Facebook followers, and anything that he did, these people would they would uh, they would understand or they would follow or want to know more. And if he chose blindly to follow Henry VIII, that would have been very it would have been uh, fantastic for Henry VIII because it would have been a huge win. Uh, in a, on, a, on a social and academic uh, and political perspective, but with Thomas More going against that, he really threw away his political career uh, he, and, and ultimately his family and his, his own life in support of his faith. So uh, it was very important for us to be able to tell that story to our students because we feel like, uh, we certainly hope that none of our students ever get asked to give up their life for their faith, but if nothing else, it, it really tells how important faith should be in our lives. Uh, and so we're honored to have St. Joseph and Thomas More standing vigil in front of our school for all of our students to see each and every day as they walk into our building.